Welcome, my Crystalliers, to a new series on the channel. So, I've been waiting to play Discourse for a long, long time. Um, and I'm very, very excited to get this going. Alright, so let's see. Um, it was on sale, because of the Winter Steam Sale. Actually, I got a lot of games. Well, not that many games, but I got like six games because of the Winter Sale. Um, and I'm very excited to play them for the channel. Uh, and one of those games being a discourse. So let's do. Okay, so this thing on the right is the Indie Islands. I'm pretty sure that's just like DLC or something. It came with the game though. I think that's what happens or whatever. But it's like a side story, and I'm not gonna play that until the I finish the main story. So let's uh, let's go ahead and do the main story here. Uh, name: Rita. Gender: Female. Date of birth: 202690. Okay, nationality: Locally sourced. Height, not quite venti. I'm not entirely sure what that means. Education, BFA, and A, hometown, Groundsville. Employer, Jittering Java. Occupation, Barista, Artist. Okay, uh, let's see. Enjoys web flicks, earplugs, quiet, and uneventful flights. I don't think that's gonna be what's gonna happen right now, but okay, let's see. New game. Okay, what's going on here? Enjoy your trip. Headphones recommended. Okay, that's good because I am doing that. Uh, move with that, do that. Okay, cool. Bon voyage, the paths you forge are your own. Choose wisely. Ooh. I'm excited. I'm excited. What the, heck just, what the heck was that, by the way? Was that Thunderstrike? I know that was some sort of a plane sound. Oh wow, straight up, we're just... We don't even see the... Ugh, my brain feels like I went through a coffee grinder. Do I have to press A to advance? Yes, I do. It feels like I've been lying out here for hours. What is all this crap on the beach? Wait, a plane crash? But I was... Oh, no. Alright, stay calm, Rita. Okay, so this is our, our hero. Um, let's see what we can do. That's my seat. Little 21C. I wonder if things would have gone differently if I was in a window seat. Yeah, I mean, that kind of thing... What the heck was a frying pan doing on a plane? What is this, Earthbound? They're closing in on us! Huh? What the heck was that? Oh god. Um, okay, I'm gonna check this over here. Yeesh, good thing I was in that seat. Yeah, that would've been a nice headshot. But there isn't anyone on that seat, so there's no dead bodies so far at least, right? I can't believe this is real. Is that a biplane? Oh no, that's just a wing. I'm pretty sure that's just the wing of the plane, okay. Is there like a running? Is there a run button? I think it's all it is is just moving and A. I should go check out that noise. Go investigate? Not yet. Um, let's do a quick little look around some more. Because you never know. I mean, this game seems like every single choice you make is extremely crucial kind of thing. So, I'm going to do... I love the Mario, the Paper Mario-esque feel of it. One of my favorite games ever on the GameCube is Paper Mario Arrow and the Thousand Year Door. Uh, I play that a bunch, so I am in love with any any game that has like that kind of aesthetic. Whoa, okay, they're getting attacked by a bunch of crabs? They're calling for backup! We're totally surrounded! Make sure you aim for their eyes! It will scramble the chips in our brains! Doesn't even matter, we're done for! Really guys? It's just crabs! Steve, somebody else is approaching! She's probably here to feast on us, just like these crabs! What? Are you talking about me? You're totally clueless, aren't you, Teddy? Hey, lady, now might be a good time to help us. Seriously, they're just crabs. That's what I just said. How does this even happen? Uh, all right, I'm coming. Let's do it. I've got my trusty metal detector on me, but they will definitely attack if I pull it out. Just get over here and help me. What? No, come here. Well, I might as well try to put this frying pan to good use. What the heck? I don't. I what? Uh, friggin' god! I already have to do a thing. Uh, screw you! I'm gonna fight this guy. <laughs> Scare crabs by swinging frying pan. Attack crabs with frying pan. Go help Pe Teddy instead. I don't know. I think oh, Teddy's weird. I don't know. He seems like he thought I was gonna. He thought I was gonna kill them and eat them myself. So I don't trust him if he doesn't trust me. So I'm gonna try to scare crabs. Ah! I think it's working so far. Whoa! You totally scared them away. 
Oh god, Teddy. Whoa, is Teddy gonna die like straight up? Ouch, those things are fierce. My legs are all torn up. This isn't good. Holy crap, his legs are torn up. Okay, well, let's get back to camp. The others will want to meet. Um, I didn't catch your name. It's Rita. Wait, there are other survivors? Yeah, they're farther inland. I'm Steve, by the way. My name is Teddy. Alright, let's get going. Okay. Well, that guy got screwed over. What I got going over here? Whoa, these metal... There's metal and wreckage all over the beach. I'm kind of glad I can't remember the crash. It must be terrible. So what? I'm, a, I'm the main character hero and I have amnesia. Never heard that one before. Man, none of these weird plants and twigs look at them. Even if they were, it doesn't look like they would taste very good. Okay, well, I, I didn't expect to be faced with a choice so immediately like that. But, sorry, Teddy, your legs are screwed up, huh? Uh, yeah, let's go. I mean, I don't think there's anything going on here. Don't you think it's a little risky to take the stranger back? Wait, if she's just a bunch of crabs in a... What if she's just a bunch of crabs in a human suit? You were an only child, weren't you, Teddy? <laughs> no, my brother was human. I think we'll be fine. Let's go, Rita. This Teddy guy's weird. Like, I mean, I still don't know enough about him to, like, judge him in, in like, a character kind of... Look, another survivor, but I don't know. I mean, I do feel bad about his legs getting screwed up. What? I thought we were the only ones. Heavens to bless you. Come have a seat. Okay, cool. Thanks. This is a nice rocky you idea. You must have been out for hours. Are you alright? Uh, yeah, I think so. I don't know. What do you think? I'm gonna be like... I'm gonna be a little nice. That's good. None of us seem to have been injured in the crash. What's your name? Rita. I'm Jolene. The lump over there with the mustache, that's my husband, George. Oh, cool. You guys, uh, survived. Hi. Online, I'm known as Nebulord90, but you can call me Gary. <laughs> All he's been doing is playing games on a stupid handheld video machine. Hey. So he, what, he has like a DS or something? How do they, how does he get power to that thing? Uh, none of us really sure. All we know is we're on an island. The island is pretty big. We have no clue what kind of stuff could be on the other side. There's a mountain off in the distance, but it's a long hike away. We have no idea what's over there. We've started making the best of this here situation. I got this fire built, and we got some. Uh, we got started on some shelter. Uh, where? Where's the shelter? So far, all we've got for food is a pile of pretzels from off the plane. Hey, that's good enough for now, I guess. Well, it's probably not that great for like five people. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, six people. Oh God, the boar! It's taking our pretzels. Jeez Louise and sweet cream cheese. Oh no, those pretzels are our only food. Oh darn. Those were going to be such a well-balanced meal for us. What if there are more of those those pig monsters out there? Rita, you come with me and George. Let's get this boy. Uh, I don't think that's the best idea. It's not like we have weapons to hunt them. My George has his old fishing pole. We can swap him with that. And I suppose you're going to throw that bulky camera of yours at him? What? Well, I'll do what needs to be done. We need to stay here and defend the few resources we got left. Come along, Georgie. We don't have time for this, and I don't trust these hoodlums. Rita, are you ready? Let's go. Yeah, um, I think I'm gonna go with them to see if I can at least keep them alive, if nothing else. Stay and protect now. I'm not ready for all this. Yeah, let's go for it. That's what I want to do. Let's get it. It's bacon making time. Yeehaw, that a girl. Wait, hold on a second. You're just gonna leave the three of us alone? I mean, you're three dudes. One of you is injured, but you guys, the other two are fine. He's got a cigarette. You could probably burn something. You're right. I'll stay back. Hey, this is important. Ah, you'll be fine. Don't worry, Garrett. You still have half the group left. You guys will be fine. What are we supposed to do if something attacks us here? You have fire. Just put, like, smack something with a stick that's on fire already. Uh, y'all are as brave as bar soap. What does that even mean? Defend the camp at all costs. You should hide. Um, I don't know about the all costs thing. I don't know the future or nothing, but that sounds pretty dire. <laughs> you should hide. I don't know about the hiding thing either, because then our camp would just be gone completely. I'm going to say defend the camp. I, I don't know. Just defend the camp. If we, if you all work together, you'll have no problem defending the camp. Yeah, right. Like, it's that easy. Not without a healer in our party. <laughs> get it? Because video games. I'm sure you'll manage. We'll be back before you know it anyway. George and Rita, let's get moving. 
All right, guys. I didn't expect it to be super um greedy, but let's see what we got going on. There it is. Man, I love the art so much. It's so great. That boar looks so freaking awesome. We need to be careful, <clears throat> or we'll run away again. Maybe I can stun it with my camera flash. Hey, that's not a bad idea. I got my trusty fishing pole. Too bad it broke in the crash. I might be able to hit it with it, though. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry about the yawn. Alright, so what's the plan? Hang on, I'm thinking. Tell Jolene to, fla to flash your camera. Tell George to throw his pole. Throw frying pan. Okay, I feel like she could flash it with her camera, and then I can go in for an attack, but it doesn't seem like that's a thing. And throwing stuff at it doesn't sound like any kind of good will happen. Even if we hit it, it'll just be hit and then I'll leave. So I'm gonna try the camera thing. Jillian, flash the board with your camera. Maybe you'll be stun it. Flashing the camera when it's looking away isn't a good idea. Nah, it'll be fine. You're probably right. Good call. This is a bad idea. So, how important is the broken fishing pole? I don't think we can use that at all for fishing, can we? But I guess we can use it for fishing later, but what about the frying pan? Maybe we can use it to cook stuff later a little easier, but I mean, it's not super integral for cooking. So I, what I'm going to do is throw the pan, and then maybe it'll turn around and then she can flash the camera with it? That's what I'm hoping for. Are you sure that's a good idea? Can you really throw it that far? Uh, I mean, whatever. I guess this is what we're going to go for. I think I can do it. Don't worry about it, Jolene. I got this. What? Whoa. Alright, let's see what the heck's going on. Oh god, that was terrible. Oh man. What was that? Did you really think you were gonna hit the boar from here with a frying pan? I guess I'm not as strong as I thought. Whoops. It's getting late. I think the hunt is a lost cause at this point. Let's just get ourselves back to camp. Maybe the others have better news. Um, yeah. That was pretty terrible. I'm gonna go ahead and have this. I guess this is kind of stupid to throw this. Oh well, lesson learned. Oh man, that sucks, dude. Oh, what is that? Usually I'll just throw a back of coffee and stay awake, but that's not really an option. Here. Darn, not a trace of him. Those boards sure are fast. Huh, a clipboard, that's unusual. Hey, this paperwork is labeled Dysast Air. Dysast? Dysast? I don't know. This must be from the plane. What is it, Rita? It's a maintenance checklist for the plane. But nothing's checked off. What the heck? There's a maintenance checklist that isn't checked off? I mean, we crashed, so probably not. There's a date on this. Our plane hadn't been inspected since... 1991? <laughs> what? What? There's no way that's legal. No, definitely not. I mean, I could be Mr. Turbity List or something, but still. I think I'll hang on to this paper. If we ever do get off this island alive, I certainly want some answers about this. Wait, just take the take the board too. You never know when you need to. I don't know anything. It doesn't look like it's go, like it goes on forever. It's like an ocean of sand and rocks. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna have to end the episode here. This game is looking really awesome. Um, I'm getting kind of bombarded with a lot of important seeming decisions that I didn't expect to be bombarded so quickly with this stuff. Literally, the first thing was like, save someone's life or not, so it's crazy. But uh, I ho I'm hoping you're enjoying this. Uh, I know I'm having fun. I love the art so, so much. It's like one of the bigger reasons why I wanted this game, to be honest. Like, if your game has an interesting uh, art style and it's like really, really well done uh, art-wise, then you have my intention fully. And then I'll look at the gameplay and see if I'll buy it uh, with that. Uh, but yeah, anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, my name is Crystal Face, and I'll see you in the next one.